Hello. Who are you? Doesn't matter. Welcome. You're safe with me. I'll be right here. Nice and close so I can speak without alerting the others. Let me tell you about Senua. Her story has already come to an end, but now it begins anew. What's happening? It's breathing. Dead. It's breathing. It's breathing. He knows. he knows she's getting closer. He can feel her coming closer. She's getting closer. They're watching. They're watching. They're watching. This is a journey deep into darkness. There'll be no more stories after this one. What is she doing? Why is she doing this? They're watching. Why isn't she doing alone? She's doing this for him. She wants to rescue him. He's already done. Quiet. Oh, how rude of me. I never told you of the others. You hear them too, right? They've been around ever since the tragedy. Well, that's not quite true. Some are old, some are new, but they've changed. I think the darkness changed them, just like it changed her. Can you see them? Over there. Why isn't she looking? <laughs> Why aren't you looking? She's in hell. Look, up ahead. You see it too? You promised you can. Yes. It is real after all. She's finally arrived in the land of mist and fog. The place the Northmen call hell. Look around and you will see them. The drowned, the sick, the slain. Here they lie, rotting in the fields and rivers of hell. But the dead don't always lie still here. Can you see them? Can you see them? They're going to do that to you. They're watching. Stop. Can you feel them watching? They're watching her. What is she thinking? I can tell you. She's afraid. Wouldn't you be? You'd think she would get used to it by now after so many years. But the darkness... It just builds onto itself, growing stronger, towering over her. You might try and ignore it. Turn away. It's always there, just out of sight. Where you're most vulnerable. It's like it knows that just enough light is all you need to see its suffocating power. You might think she's brave to go on this journey on her own. But it isn't bravery that drives her. 
bravery only means something to those afraid of death. Said it was fear runs far. What is she looking at? What is she leaving behind? I know what she's thinking. I hear her thoughts. It's not too late to get into the boat and go back. No one will judge her. No one will ever know. Oh, she heard us. There's no going back. You can't do it. Sending our pushes away a world that conspired to cause so much suffering. There's nothing to go back to and worse to look forward to. Why don't you join us? Maybe you too have a part to play in this story. Look really clearly. Focus, Senua. Focus. Focus and you'll see. What happens if you focus? Do not forget my story, Senua. Because your darkness comes from hell. And your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hella's gate. But gods and the living will follow this path. You must leave the Isles of Orkney across the Eastern Sea and find a road that leads north and down through deep, dark valleys. After nine nights of riding, you will follow a great river and will find a bridge covered in gold. The path to Helheim goes from there, across the river of knives that flows from the dark world of Niflheim. was right. What was it he said? The river of knives across which lies the halls of hell. The place they call Helheim.
is no doubt about it. The source of the darkness is in Helheim. And the goddess Hela holds his soul there. Her dear beloved, Dillian. What is she doing? Why is she doing this? Why doesn't she turn back? She's doing this for him. She wants to rescue him. He's already dead. He's dead. But his soul is in hell. His soul still lives. She needs to save his soul. She wants her soul to be at peace. She needs to lay him to rest. He's already dead. <laughs> she can save him. There's nothing she can do. She's going to do you know where you are? to Helheim. I forget its name. She forgets too. But she does remember that only the dead may cross it. That part wasn't so easy to forget. The old fool said there was a hidden path up to it. Let's see, shall we? Northmen speak of nine worlds. The world of men they call Midgard. Sky gods dwell in Asgard. The gods of earth, harvest, wind, and sea dwell in Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. The fire giants dwell in Muspelsheim. Niflheim is the world of ice and darkness. Only the dead dwell in Helheim, and that is where you must travel. Don't kill me. I'm not one of them. Don't listen. I was just hiding. I find I live longer that way. Don't listen. I never let the bastards catch me again. Never! Wait. Who are you? It's just a memory. Truth? Tales of the Northmen. They call me Druth. Liar. He's lost. An old fool. <laughs> Druth is my truth. Huh? It's 
good to see you again. You kept your vow. I guide you in this life and the next. I will tell you my stories of hell if I may walk with you. Tell me your stories again, old friend. I'm listening. The runes seal the gates to hell. Focus your inner eye. And you too will see what's hidden in plain sight. Use your eyes. Use your eyes. I can see one. Come on. Hold it in your mind's eye. Find one like it to open the gate. The gate is open. Go through the gate. Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. What's behind the gate? Where will it take you? It's not safe. It worked. I spent six years enslaved in hell. But I watched the Northmen. Learned their ways. I know you did. You listen? When everyone else laughed. My people pay a heavy price. Carry my stories with you, and together we will make the Northmen feel our fury. Another voice joins us. She once tried to make them go away. Pretend they weren't real. What good is that? dead is ruled by the giantess, Hela, daughter of Loki. The gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side and yet much worse on her father's. So, as a child, the Allfather cast her down into Helheim and gave her power over those who die of sickness, age, hardship and self-slaughter. In all of the nine worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. To Hela, your Dillion was sacrificed, and with her you must bargain. the living from the dead. Is that the face of Hela herself? The half-rotten goddess that rules over Helheim. Whatever horrors lie behind that door, 
She must find him. vision of what's to come. Poor Senua. The darkness does not bargain. It does not reason. It is rocked. And now it has taken hold. It will spread towards her head, the seed of the soul, until there is nothing left of her. All of her suffering will have been for nothing. It's just a matter of time. The hardest battles are fought in the mind. That is what Dillian taught her. With every defeat, the dark rot will grow and soon it will take her soul. But for now, at least, she still has control of her mind. And she will fulfill her vow. 
whatever the cost. He's not right. Listen to me, Senua. The goddess Hela lies behind the gate to Helheim. To open the gate, you must first face the gods that guard it. The god of fire, Surt, and the god of illusion, Valraven, spill their blood to open the gate to Helheim and enter the land of the dead. To Dillian, to her soul. It won't open. How will she get through? Why won't it open? Why can't she open? She needs to challenge the gods. She has to fight two gods first. Two gods? Two, two gates. gates. <laughs> She's going to die. Uh -oh. Which one will she challenge first? Be very careful, Senua. Choose a gate, Senua. Two gates, two gods. She's too slow. <laughs> Sort. The fire giant has answered. He comes from a land older than mankind. And the Northmen call upon his flaming sword to raise their enemies to the ground. Find him, Senua. She found the wretched old fool on her way back from the wilds. An outcast was badly burnt all over. She took pity on him, for he was not long for this world. Like her, who spoke of his own darkness. The Northmen. Over. Finish it.
The path to Hellheim is sealed for the living. of their tongue to beg for mercy, and they took me as a slave. I wish now that they had slaughtered me like the others. I rode their storm of fire, death, slavery to many lives. This darkness you speak of? <laughs> I know it well. And I'm still here to fight it. Okay. 
Prepare your go. Attack. <laughs> of Surt, know that only a sacrifice will stoke the fires of Muspel and let the dead walk through. Find the fire, Senua, to follow the path to Surt. Get through. She'll need to find another way. Truth and said. Find your own path. There's always another way. Yeah. There's always a way. Find your own way. You just have to find it. He's waiting for you. It was never going to be that easy. He's waiting. Sert is waiting for you through the Find him. The pyre. The Northmen tell this story. Before the earth was created. There was a world called Muspel. Because it was in the south, it was bright and hot, flaming, burning. Sparks that flew out from Muspel became the stars. Other sparks melted ice in the frozen world of Niflheim, creating the body of the first giant, Ymir. Muspel is one of the nine worlds and is now the land of the fire giants. And people from elsewhere cannot endure a journey there. It's too far. She'll never find it. She'll never make her way back. She needs to remember the way back. What happens when she finds it? Everything will burn. Concentrate. Concentrate on where you're going. She needs to remember the path. Everything will burn. Then how will she find the way back? <laughs> she won't. She won't be able to tell. Say that the, the Northmen say that the defender of Muspel is called Surt. 
the foremost of the fire giants. His name means the Black One, because he is like something burnt. The Northmen believe that he sits at the border of Muspel with his flaming sword, and at the end of the world he will leave his post. He will travel to Asgard and Midgard, waging war against all the gods. He will be victorious, and then burn the whole world with fire. sacrifices, burning slaves like me to reveal the path to Surt. I searched for meaning in their suffering, in their eyes, but they just screamed like helpless pigs. Answer your prayers, Senua. I asked the gods for mercy, all of them, even theirs. None answered. In the end, I set myself free. Defy the gods, Senua! Find your own path, like I find mine! My gods abandoned me! I am alone.
Northmen of Hell worship the Devourers, insatiable gods of darkness. I come from Eren, Senua, where I once followed my own gods, the Tuatha de Danann. Why did you abandon your gods? Senua, I was a man of knowledge, not a warrior. To survive, I did things. Fuck, Bad things. Like you, Senua. The man I once was has died. And when that happens, even gods you worship can die with you. Newborn, will you see the world anew? No, I see nothing now.
Tell me truth. How did you escape your darkness? Senua, once I found my purpose, I was no longer enslaved to the suffering I had to endure to reach it. Unclouded by fear, I could see it clearly in others. Even my captors feared the fire of Surt. And so, during one raid, I took my chance and ran, knowing that they would not follow. A fool ran into the fire. <laughs> they left me for dead. Maybe they were right to. But here I am. Free. I'm glad I found you in the wilds. I wouldn't have made it without you. The Northmen believe that the world will be destroyed someday. They call it Ragnarok, the destiny of the gods. Asgard will be attacked by Surt and the fire giants. A monstrous wolf will swallow the sun, and the gods will fight in vain against their enemies. There is nothing they can do to prevent it, but Odin ever seeks knowledge and magic, hoping, hoping to find a way to postpone that dark day.
darkness. And so can you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. This darkness takes everything. Everyone. Senua. Are you sure you want to do this? We can fight this together. Side by side. We always do. This is my battle. I have to face it alone, away from you. Where will you go? I don't know. For how long? I don't know. I believe in you. You know that. Just promise me that you will come back to me. I want you to say it. I want you to say it. I will come back to you. I promise. Until we fall. And in the end, we all fall. Even the 
gods have their time. Yet we still go on. Why? I made a promise. Mm. And I will go to hell to keep it. I die free. Knowing you will carry my stories with you. I have fulfilled my quest. Yes, you have. When the darkness comes, I vow to guide you in this life and the next to fulfill yours. Then I will see you in hell. Be ready to face horror in the eye as I have to find your answers. Your quest.